Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch, interact and also learn. Your tutor today is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. In today's lesson, we are in form for lesson 9 and the topic is poultry uh, production and the subtopic is the rearing uh, system. Uh, you can remember, uh, if you uh, remember what we covered in the previous uh, uh, lessons, we, uh, we, we had started on the types of rearing system and today is a continuation. Then we will go to the lesson objective. By the end of this lesson, you are supposed to uh, able to you should be able to number one state the advantages and disadvantages of deep litter system and number two you state the requirement of a deep litter system uh, the terms used include we have a feed hoppers and then we have waterers then we have the litter then we have cannibalism and we have the bb king and the predators and what is a, a feed hopper this is a, a structure which is designed where the food uh, or, or the feed for the poultry is supposed to be placed to, pro, uh, to provide uh, the poultry with feed uh, so that they can comfortably take the feed from the feed hopper then the second one we have the water you can see uh, this, uh, an image of a water there it is designed for holding water which is meant for uh, the poultry then we have the litter uh, the litter is the material which is supposed to be uh, provi uh, provided in the deep litter system uh, to provide a warm for the birds. Then we have cannibalism. This is a vice uh, whereby the, the poultry normally take on others. And then the deep beaking. This is a, 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 a control measure where the, those perpetual uh, poultry uh, that feed on egg, they are supposed to be cut on their upper beak. So so that they can uh, uh, shun the uh, from e eating the egg. Then we have the predator. A uh, predator, on the other hand, is a, a, an, a, a, an organism that kill another organism uh, for food. And for this case, with poultry, the predator include the hook, and also we have uh, the, 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 the the mongoose. Those are some of the uh, predators that uh, we normally uh, find in the uh, farm during uh, poultry uh, production. Uh, the deep litter system, uh, the requirement include a site house feeder, a waterer, roost and patch. And uh, advantages of the deep litter system, one, high stocking rate. Uh, in a deep lit, uh, litter system, remember it is very spacious and therefore it encourages the high uh, stocking rate. Then number two, less barriers. Yeah, it is very, very less barriers because once you provide enough uh, waterers and on enough waters, uh, uh, the, the feeders, uh, then it becomes very, very easy to manage the entire process. Then number three, uh, possible to rear breeding stock. And number four, birds are safe from predators because remember uh, this uh, the deep litter system the birds are not supposed to come out from their houses but they are supposed to be confined in those structures that are referred to as the deep uh, litter system and therefore if the structures are constructed well they are not going to be eaten by the predators then uh, the first accumulation of manure yes uh, the, the birds are uh, normally uh, uh, drop their droppings and or their the, 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 their dropping within the the the, the, the deep litter system the, the, within the litter and after every uh, two weeks uh, the litter should be changed or a month a period of month depending with the program of the farmer and this will enhance the accumulation of manure within the system then we have no loss of eggs and this is uh, very true because the eggs cannot be stolen because we have the ring uh, a nest, nest within the, the deep litter system and you should provide uh, enough uh, laying nest to 
prevent the vices such as uh, cannibalism. Then we have disadvantages. Uh, number one, cannibalism and egg, egg eating are very common. Uh, then number two, toe pecking uh, is also common. And uh, number three, pest and disease accumulation is very uh, common. Then not possible to keep production record for individual birds because uh, you will not know which bird has laid and which bird has not laid. Then the data may not be av uh, available and therefore availability of the uh, litter may be a problem. Then the number six, production of dirty eggs. Uh, yes, because uh, the eggs might be contaminated by the legs of the other birds within the deep litter system. Then feed hoppers and the waterers are contaminated by the litter. Then we have come to the end of today's lesson and I'm going to give you the following assignment. The first question is state any three advantages of a deep litter system and number two state any two disadvantages of using deep litter system in poultry production and number three state any three requirements in a deep uh, litter system. For reference, you can refer from Secondary Agriculture Student Book 4 and the publisher is the Kenya uh, Literature Bureau. Uh, for more information, you can all, if you want to clarify something for us, you can reach us at LMTV using the following addresses. The first one, SMS using the number which is well displayed for you. You can also use the YouTube at LMTV, the Facebook platform at LMTV, and also you can tweet us at LMTV underscore KE. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. Till next lesson. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.